in this video we can discuss about an introduction to prokaryotics and eukaryotics and what are the difference between prokaryotics and eukaryotics it's an important topic of third semester b farm pharmaceutical microbiology as we all know microorganism based on their primarily on their structure as well as mode of reproduction it is classified into two prokaryotics and eukaryotics what is the main difference between the prokaryotics and eukaryotics in prokaryotic there is no true nucleus and they normally possess just a single chromosome and that is not separated from other cell components or content of of the uh, cell by a membrane example like bacteria archaea and these are the simplest microorganism so that is the prokaryotic without a true nucleus now coming to the eukaryotics these are the cell with the true nucleus and also the true nucleus in which the chromosome are separated from the cytoplasm by a clear nuclear membrane the higher organism like fungi protozoa and algae are the example for eukaryotics now this is a uh, schematic representation of prokaryotic and eukaryotic you can see now first we can discuss about the prokaryotics it have an uh, nucleoid without a, a nuclear membrane just a segregation of chromosome and uh, there is ribosome in cytoplasm and there is a cytoplasm uh, sorry uh, there is a cell membrane and there is a cell wall in some eukaryotics and there is a flagella and sometimes uh, outside the cell wall there will be a uh, membrane like structure called capsule these are the basic microorganism that is prokaryotic now coming to the eukaryotics it have all the advanced uh, organelles for a cell it have chloroplast then mitochondria then in cytoplasm plasm there are uh, lots of organelles like gogli body no uh, then uh, ribosome endoplasmic reticulum and uh, around the cytoplasm there is an cytoplasmic membrane and uh, there is a clear nuclear membrane inside that nuclear membrane nucleus is there with the uh, chromosome which are uh, separated from the other cell organs uh, of uh, cytoplasm Uh, so this is a basic uh, schematic representation of prokaryotic and eukaryotic now coming to the main differences prokaryotic cells are the smallest cell and eukaryotic cells are largest cell prokaryotics will be always unicellular but uh, eukaryotic may often multicellular and next difference is there is no nucleus or any membrane bonded organelles in prokaryotics there is no nucleus or any membrane bonded organelles in prokaryotics there is always have a nucleus and uh, other membrane bonded organelles in eukaryotics and dna is circular circular without protein in prokaryotic dna is linear and associated with the protein to form chromatin and uh, ribosome is 70s ribosome in case of prokaryotics Uh, but in case of uh, eukaryotics ribosome is 80s there is no cytoskeleton in prokaryotics but always have a cytoskeleton in eukaryotic and cell division is usually by binary fission in case of prokaryotics and in case of eukaryotic it is by mitosis or meiosis then reproduction is always asexual in prokaryotics but in eukaryotic it may be sexual or asexual so this is an uh, basic uh, of difference between 
prokaryotics and eukaryotic it is uh, had seen many time in question paper like uh, difference between prokaryotics and eukaryotics so hope it is clear now we can discuss about the morphological classification of bacteria that means how we will see the microorganism in a microscope how we will classify the microorganism according to their shape in this video we will not discuss about the internal structure of bacteria we are just uh, discussing about the shape of bacteria morphological shape and how we will classify according to that shape so bacteria can be classified according to their morphological state into coccus bacillus coco bacillus vibrio spirillum spirochete square and stop star so coccus or cocci are spherical shaped round shaped structures now uh, bacillus are round shaped structures and in between these two uh, that is in between coccus and bacillus we have one uh, structure known as coco bacillus it will not be uh, it will be greater than or uh, larger than the cocci and it will be lesser than uh, smaller than the uh, bacillus and uh, there is another shape vibrio which is like coma like structures then spirillum uh, long uh, uh, structure spiral like structure then spirochetes now this is the spirillum and this is bacillus and this is cocci now example for bacillus is bacillus anthracis for example for cocci is menin neisseria meningitidis and examples for spirillum leptospira interrogans so these are some example for bacillus cocci and spirillum now coming to the coccus coccus is mean berry berry shape usually size have an range from 0.7 to 3 micrometer and sometime this coccus this berry shaped or spherical shaped coccus may segregated or remain together with another uh, uh, cocci to form a pair that is known as diplococci an example for diplococci is neisseria and sometimes this coccus may be adhered together to form a repeated division of uh, as a long chain so uh, that structure is known as streptococcus example streptococcus lactobacillus lactococcus and enterococcus then sometime uh, uh, when the cell is divided in random plane to generate an irregular shape or grape like clumps that is known as staphylococcus uh, or staphylococcus example is staphylococcus aureus and sometime uh, cocci divide into two plane to produce a tetrad or uh, micrococcus example are micrococcus and saccharina uh, cocci divide in three Uh, dimensional plane producing a cuboidal packet or eight cell uh, that is known as uh, example is genus uh, sarcina so this is uh, diplococcus uh, example are uh, uh, neisseria then this is uh, uh, tetrads this is sar sarcina this is uh, streptococcus and this is staphylococcus as a cluster it will form as a cluster so this is the different classification of coccus now coming to bacillus these are rod shaped that means uh, uh, elongated uh, shaped bacillus uh, usually length range from 0.75 to 10 micrometer and diameter of 0.75 to 3 micrometer uh, uh sometime bacillus will form as a chain one by one so that is known as streptobacillus or bacillus megatherium sometime uh, uh, the structure is between the coccus and bacilli it will be larger than the coccus and larger than uh, smaller than the bacillus that is known as coccobacillus that is uh, dif different in length to width ratio so sometime vibrio coma shaped curved rods they have derived their name due to the characteristic vibratory motility so the uh, vibrio type microorganism will always show motile nature 
then corny bacterium bacillus arranged at an angle to each other to present a chinese letter pattern also known as cuneiform bacteria now coming to the spirulae and spirochetes both are elongated twisted uh, spiral like or helical like structure and there is a some difference between spirulae and spirochete that is if the uh, rod is rigid it is known as spirulae and spirochete if the rod is flexible it is known as spirochetes so that is the spirulae and spirochetes then sometime uh, uh, bacteria which are variable in shape and uh, usually which lack a uh, single characteristic form that is known as mycoplasma uh, this mycoplasma do not uh, show a regular structure it will alter their structure and mycoplasma are pleomorphic because they lack their cell wall cell wall is the component which will determine the shape of the microorganism in this mycoplasma there is no cell wall so the shape of the my cell will always change occur as round as well as oval or interacting uh, filaments so that is pleiophore so that is all about uh, the difference between eukaryotics and prokaryotics and different uh, shape or morphological classification of bacteria hope it is clear thank you for watching this video